I made sure I looked up. <laughs> All right, go live. We're, we're yeah, we're actually a good location. Actually, Hi yeah. guys. Hi. Oh, are we live already? Got it. Top chat. Our live chat. Good morning, everyone. Happy Valentine. No, not Valentine's Day. You Saint said Patrick. Thanksgiving earlier, and now <laughs> I said Valentine's Day. Can you Day. see our St. Patrick's Day? Or do we need to push the screen down a little farther? I'm going to do it down just a little bit, but I don't want to show too much of my trash on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's here yet. No. No, but anyway, that's okay. That's okay. We will still say welcome, welcome to our channel. Right. And I am Donna from Crystal Skies Hand Dye. On Etsy. On Etsy and Crystal yeah. Skies Hand Dye on Instagram and Crystal Skies Yarn on Ravelry. Ravelry. Although I don't do anything, but I want to thank everybody who's been posting things on Ravelry for Crystal Sky. Mm -hmm. There were 31 posts. Christy looked it up for me. Really? <laughs> Hi, Amanda and Dorothy and Nicole. Welcome. Oh, yay. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Um, and I am Amber from Amber's Yarn Shop on Etsy and on Instagram. And I do have an Amber's Yarn Shop on Facebook, too, but I don't post there as much. Look at that one piece of hair. I know. Here. Stick it up. The, the curl did not take. My shorter hair I'm getting used to. I, it's yeah, yeah. Trying to figure Look out how to it. My hair is really getting long. Yeah. I have a nice long ponytail now. <laughs> it's almost time to get it cut again because I I like keeping it about this length. It's just right. It just works out great. So anyway, anyway. we are we're it's St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. so we are celebrating. Right Look, you I have a cat cat that is a leprechaun, um, leprechaun riding a catacorn. Yeah, for my cute. I just have a bunch of poorly clothes. Hi, Laurel. Right. Welcome. Yes. Hi, Laurel. So make sure now that, uh, oh, we'll say this first and we'll say this at the end. We love your comments on here and we want your comment on here. Mm -hmm. But to be in our drawing, you actually have to go in after and comment down below. After it's posted, after on, it's YouTube. posted on YouTube. Because uh, it doesn't it doesn't transfer over the live chat, yeah. sadly. So, sadly, yeah. So, so anyways, welcome. it's good to see you all. We woke up here in Idaho to snow. Mm -hmm. And I have to drive back tomorrow, but hopefully it says it's not going to snow tomorrow. So hopefully all the streets will be cleared by tomorrow since it's Saturday and people are rushing around getting chores done and stuff. Then it should be clearing off pretty good. Yeah, hopefully, so hopefully. Yeah, everyone, Saturday is yeah busy day Short here day, in the country. Day. She lives in the country. I do live in the country. She has land. Laurel said she likes our shirts. Love, oh, oh, thank she does you. Love the shirts, actually. Oh, thank you, Laurel. I'm I'm the uh, the transcriber, by the way. Mom can't see it that far. I can't see that far. I mean, I can kind of. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so now we're going to go into our regular format. Yes. Yay. Yay. So our show might tend to be a little longer than normal this time. We'll warn we you in advance. We have a lot to show off. Yes, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of neat stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway... Um, we're going to go right into our week. Our week. Um, nothing's happened on my side. I actually did some dyeing, but you'll see that later. That's a big deal for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big deal. I haven't dyed since before Christmas. because is not dyed yarn since yarn before, before Christmas. Christmas. And so, Hello, Sherry. Hi, from Sherry. Ohio. Oh, yes, Ohio. Thank you for saying where you're from. Yes. Yeah, I bet you have snow back there too, don't you? Oh, I think yeah. the East Coast has a lot right now. Yeah, I know. Because every time I go to send something... It, on, on the postal thing, it comes up and says, due to storm that are happening in the east, your package may be delayed. And mm -hmm. I'm going, okay, that's all right. <laughs> so, let's see. Anyway. So, your week, you don't really have a lot to. No, no, not a lot. I, I had kind of a sad week. Oh, that's right. You lost somebody. Yeah. My um, cooperating teacher that I had, who hired me back in August, passed away from cancer this week. So, we have her funeral on Monday. We didn't realize how bad she was. Because the, okay. the family was keeping it really tight-lipped. All of a sudden, they came in and said she had passed away. So that was kind of a shock and a sad thing. Yeah, and they're closing the schools mm -hmm. on, uh, in Firth on um, Mondays. Because so that... there's so many teachers. And Firth is such a small a small town that everyone knows everyone. And my teacher actually was raised in Firth. Um, she grew up there. And now that made my hair look even weirder. <laughs> she grew up there. And so pretty much everyone knew her. Um, she's from a... a a prominent family in the area. Thank you so much, guys, for all your your condolences. Very nice. She, yes. I mean, I felt I felt bad because she was only forty four. Yeah, she was young. She yeah. had liver cancer, yeah. and it just they did a scan on her about a month ago and said that it had spread to her bones, and she was still doing treatment. But then just yeah. it was a rough week, and she just she just passed away, which is so, it's so weird for me 
She was so so young. Yes. Um, it's just weird to me because I only worked with her for two months and it's still and like I felt sick. bad crying, which is it's weird to say because I only worked with her for two months. I felt bad. Cry- I cried more than the ladies who had worked with her for over a year. But I'm an emotional person. Right. So when I when I get upset, I cry easily. She cries when easily. she gets mad too. I do. I had one of those this last week too. Yeah, she had a mad with my with my students. We yeah. All I'm gonna say is I got really upset with them and cried. <laughs> Go, we'll move on. We'll move on from that so I don't cry when I tell the story because yeah. it makes me upset. Yeah. But so. yeah, so that was my sad week. So we we do have Monday off and we have our funeral at eleven. So I don't have to get up at five thirty in the morning, but it'll still be a sad day. Yes. Never feel bad for handling your grief in a way that helps you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. Uh, I hate so being emotional. <laughs> now we're going on to a little happier. No. Nope. Yes. We're going um, on to our what are we giving project. away? No, we oh, don't. what are we giving away? So mom is visiting in Idaho and she forgot to bring the yarn to show you guys. But see it? It's the <laughs> uh not Christmas Hawaii. Not Hawaiian Christmas. See, I don't even know the name. Not the Hawaiian Christmas. Hawaiian Nightmare Before Christmas that someone suggested. Or the <laughs> Hawaiian Christmas Nightmare that someone suggested. Yes. Yeah. So it was real. And, and if you haven't seen it, just go on my Instagram. I posted it quite a few I times. I think I posted it a couple so, times. And we, we drew our winner. And, and we'll talk, tell you who the winner was at the end at of the podcast. At the end podcast. of the thing. And we'll show our new thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not going to show the new what we're giving away because it's going to be with my purchases. Amanda so. says it's beautiful. Yeah, it Thank is beautiful. You. It is, it is very pretty. pretty. It's just and and I couldn't put it on my shop because it's not duplicatable. Mm-hmm. I couldn't make that happen again if I tried. <laughs> so it was just that the red didn't set. Um, so I want to show you guys. I actually have taken my cake of yarn and I divided and divided it into two 50 gram cakes. So I can work on both socks at the same time. And I actually I snap it so that one yarn is going on one side of it, and then the other one is going on the other side. So you can work with two at a time if you're doing this. And let me show you the one that I have the most done on. Because I, I'm going back and forth, like I said. Um, this is the one that I have the most done on. Yeah, our colors are pretty good this time, They're too. pretty close, yeah. They're showing up really oh, good. Nice. So, yay, I'm excited to have another pair of socks. Yes. I know, isn't it cool, Sherry? It, they work really well. The cozies work really well for right. for when you're using two different colors because they will fit up to 100 grams in here. Oh, this you can do the two 50 gram bags. We're doing work in progress. Though. Yes, we're not doing finished projects. We're doing work <laughs> in progress. So that's my first work in progress. Okay. Actually, that might be my own. Oh, no, I have one more. Okay, this is my Harry Potter bag. <laughs> <laughs> that Amber made for me. Anyway, this, I have to tell you about this one. I decided to make another of my shawls, and I used two different ones of my um, yarns. I used Akami and Anisong, and then I dyed up a solid purple. Well, I took this out once because I was going to, What? I, this is how it looks so far. This is my Akami, then the purple, then the Anisong, and then it will be uh, purple again, then uh, Akami and then Annie song and then purple again. So I'm going to put purple in between each color change because at first I had to take all the purple out. I did a whole thing of purple and it just seemed like too much. So I said, I'm just putting three rows of purple in between each. And these are all done with my yarn. So this, this top one is what the Akami looks like. If you can see that. And this is Annie's song. And she doesn't have, do you not have the solid purple for sale or do you have a minis? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have it minis, but um, I'm also starting, I'll I'll explain that later when we talk about our show. Okay. Different things. (laughs) Okay. But anyway, that's one of my works in progress. Okay. Okay, I have one more work in progress. And this is just, um, if you've been watching on Instagram, um, I've been doing the uh, yarn hoarder dishcloth challenge. I got a little behind. So I finished one, which actually I don't have it here to show with my finished project. That's okay. Um, I started a new one last night in cream. And this brings me to something else. We tried the dishy yarn with it. Didn't like it. I don't like the dishy yarn. I'm going to tell you that. We both tried to crochet with the dishy yarn and knit with the dishy. The Red Heart dishy. Scrubby. No. Scrubby? Scrubby yarn. Scrubby I yarn. said dishy is my nitpick. Oh, I no. The it's time. the scrubby. The scrubby. It is awful. She tried the knitting. I tried doing it with this one right. first. It doesn't. Yeah, she tried and to put it It together. didn't work. And then I tried doing it by itself. And I hated it. It's and I don't hate more, much. Yes, the scrubby stuff. If it's all the hard It doesn't things. slide. And then like I the tried, cotton I thought, slides. Well, it I'll crochet. Slide. Well, it was like working with uh, the old eyelash yarn. 
Plus, mm-hmm. it didn't slide. And it doesn't slide. Like, At least the eyelash yarn slides. Slides, really slides. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, so that's. Anyway, that's my other work in progress. I'm just, it's just a dishcloth. Yep. I only have two works in progress right now because I finished one last night. Right. And then <laughs> I have. I had it in my hand. Oh, Karen says happy St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. Sure. And so pretty, Donna. And Thank Sherry you. and Amanda say it's pretty. And so does Karen. It's gorgeous. Okay. I've been working on this one forever, you guys. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have it done by next. But then I went and started on the other shawl. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the one I have been working on. It's almost done. I'm down mm-hmm. to my last bit. But mm-hmm. this is that one. Now, I don't even remember what the name of the yarn was. Let's I see. know that it's a... Mandala. It's a mandala. Oh, I yeah. took the tag off. That's okay. It's just one of the anyway, mandalas. Anyway, it's just one of the mandalas. But anyway, so that's that one. And it will be done by next time. Mm-hmm. So. I, did, I forgot I have a shawl I'm working on, too. I didn't bring it in here. But I only have, like, this much done on it. I haven't done much <laughs> more since I showed it to you guys last time. So it's in my bedroom. But And I have this in my bag from Knit for Brains. Yes. From Your Laura. llama bag. That I, I have little bag. cozies that match that. You do. Actually, I'm so, I'm so out of those right now. But I do have more to make. Yes, you do. Okay, so that's, okay that. so that's that. And now what think, are we doing? Do you have any other works in progress? Uh-uh. Now we're doing finished projects. That's what's next. And I only have... Okay, so one. I have two. You have two, so you can go first. I think. Yes, I have two. Okay. Now, if you all remember my shawl that I... Okay, I can't say I don't like it. I do like it, but I expected more color change in it. <laughs> And it didn't get as much, but it did turn out pretty. Mm-hmm. And this is another one of the, the Mandelas. And I do have that same colorway, and I have not. I started it and took it apart because I, all I had was white at first, and I was so bored. Yes, <laughs> but it is. It will it go is. with a lot of things because of the gray and the white. Mm-hmm. And it does kind of go into a lighter pink, into a different pink, but into a grayish blue. But mm-hmm. it it is one that will go with a lot of things. Are you reading comments? Yeah. Amanda said she stopped counting her works in progress. <laughs> well, I know how it happens because you start one and it's, I've had to really be careful because you'll start one and you go, oh, okay. Uh, I think I'll just start another one too because I found this new yarn I want to use. <laughs> and all of a sudden you have more works in progress than you do uh, knitting needles or crocheting needles. Yeah. You know, I crochet, she knits. So all the stuff you see from me is crochet. We'll tell you a story about the knitting. Again, last night, <laughs> Amber tried to teach me how to knit a dishcloth. And so we went to Walmart and we bought the knitting because they don't have Joanne's here in her town. So we had to go to Walmart. Well, all they had were the 14-inch needles. That are awful. That are awful. Learning. And I kept hitting the table. And then they're so slippery, they kept sliding off. And I did... I didn't even get one or two yard rolls. Oh, no. Kept, you got... Yeah. It kept sliding off the first floor. So... Amber's knitting me. <laughs> okay. I am. Uh, that is going to be mom's dish cloth. But yes. this is the scrubby yarn, by the way. This is, I just, I hate it. Yeah. Hate it. Sorry. It's a good idea, but I would rather knit and crochet with um, tool. Yeah. The and tool. cut into strips because I've done that before. And those right. make great scrubbies. If you've ever, if you've never tried it. Right. Um, if you can, if you cut up strips of tool and crochet it or knit it, those are the best scrubbies ever. And they're much easier to work with this with than this because you can make it thicker. Right. But I wanted to show because my next finished project, I used this last night. Oh, yes. So. Oh, yeah. That's your finished project. I finished it last Isn't night. Isn't that pretty? And is that how it turned out? Yeah. It had. She didn't it add. Had, the, no, it's, it um, it's self striping. Uh, it's Lion Brand Wool Ease self striping. Isn't that pretty? And then I made the pom pom to go with it. Right. You like the eyelash type better? Yeah, the eyelash slides better, too. Yeah. But I don't know. And then I, I had to show you because I had showed you last time you were here is when I showed him my, <laughs> I bought my pom-pom maker that didn't have all the pieces. So this one came in and I used this. It has all the pieces. I used, all and sizes. I used the yellow size. Is that the biggest? This is the second largest. Okay. So just the second largest and to make the pom-pom size. Yeah. And that made a nice pom-pom. It did make a nice pom-pom. And it's actually the perfect I won't mess up my curls, but the perfect hat. Look at that. I feel like Where's Waldo? Actually. <laughs> yes. I feel That's like right. Waldo from Where's Waldo. Uh-huh. It pushes yes, that I weird curl down. This last night. Yeah. It pushes the weird curl down. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome. So that's a lion brand yarn. Um, and I'm I'm really gotten into the chunky and bulky yarn lately. So you'll see you'll see some more about that later too. And this is my bag from Amber that she bought me as a surprise. Yes. My 12 by 12, which you decided to start making those. And this, I finally finished this one. The multicolored, multi, multi, multicolored one. With the wish. With the wish. With the yarn. wish yarns. Mm-hmm. 
So it has a lot. You want to hold that up on yeah, your side? Yeah, sorry. I was a lot to of different colors. It does. Because really I use all eight of the colorways I used were all different names. So that I got different, 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 but yet they kind of tied together. So that's finally done. And I can't wear it, but it's finally done. It's a little itchy for mom. It's itchy for it, me because it is the 100% wool and it is not super wash. Mm -mm. And so mom is allergic to wool. Yeah. I don't know I if am. we've talked about that yeah. before. When I when, want wool, mm -hmm. I, I break out right here. She has to the, wear gloves mm -hmm, because it gets a big mm -hmm. red welt. So that will be so. a present for someone. Yes. Wear it yeah, a well. present or might even end up in a mm -hmm. drawing for you guys. Yeah. You never know what we're going to do when we hit 250 or 500. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, so that's all my work. That's all my, that's all all my finished, finished ones, too. Mm -hmm. um, so Next, we have what died this week in our shop. And that's kind of a shop update, It's kind too. of a shop update, too, but that's uh, okay because they go together. Yeah. It's what died slash shop update. Well, I'll let you go first. Okay, so you have one. Um, I have a story about this yarn, too. Um, Well, first off, I told you I've been loving bulky. So this is a bulky yarn. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen I've posted a couple posts about self-love in the past week or two, um, just because it's been really on my mind. I've talked to a lot of people who have rough things. And, you know, I work with students who just are, I mean, they're kids. And so they're, they're still learning how to care about themselves. And so I actually posted something about self-love and I actually won a contest from Bundle Monster, um, <laughs> which is a nail art company. Um, I won some free stuff from Bundle Monster because of this. Um, but I decided to name a colorway after something that is close to me like this with the self-love. And I call this, I am enough. And I have just four in bulky. Um, and it is made with purple. Oh, you can really see the navy blue in the camera. Right. And purple, the green. navy blue, and moss green. Oh, the moss actually, green turned yellow on that one. On that one. But the, So I have four of these in bulky. I have just four. And some of them have a little more pink or purple on them. The, the purple uh, broke into pink and the green broke into the yellow. But they're little. really a big, mm -hmm. nice. And they're this is a nice, so soft. It's, oh, and it's, this is, I've never worked with this bulky before. And I just kept, I kept making mom touch it because it's so when much. When it's wet, soft. it's just like silk. Oh, yeah. It's like silk <gasps> when it's wet. So I actually, I made five of them. One is mine and I'll show you. This kind of goes along with my works in progress. This is how it knits up. I'm going to make a hat out of it. But isn't that gorgeous? It turned out so good. Um, so, and then this is it caked. Isn't that it's pretty? Crazy. It's so pretty. So I will have only four of those. And when they're gone, they're gone. I just want to let you know. And they're all already, they are ready, ready to, to go. Ship. <laughs> ready to go. So I, like I said, just four. Um, and if we like the colorway, it may end up being, I may do so it in, do other, some fingering in some fingering yeah. and worsted if you want it. Um, but yeah, it's called I Am Enough. And because you guys, you are enough. We're all enough. We're all enough. We're and all... yeah, it's something very near and dear to my heart right now talking about this. Um, so yeah, so that, and that's my shop going to be my shop update this week. Just these, just those, just these. I haven't made any bags this week. It's been a kind of crazy week, right. you know, and cause Dave and I are getting over being sick still. So I haven't wanted to work yeah, as still much. On any yes. I'm still on antibiotics. <laughs> okay. Yes. And if, if you've gone to my shop lately, <coughs> you may have noticed that I did this big shop update where I changed a lot of things. Now, instead of in it, it, at first it may be a little weird to people because I used to post, if I had say Hawaiian Christmas and I had it in the uh, alpaca and the super soft and the whatever, I had all separate listings. But now I have discovered a drop down menu. <laughs> the drop down menu. So now you'll see Hawaiian Christmas and it only says hand dyed yarn. 100 grams Hawaiian Christmas. And when you click into that over here, when you click, it tells you what I have of them. And so it just is making it easier for me because, and for you guys, because instead of going in and seeing 298 yarns, you'll see 70. And it just a little less overwhelming. A little less overwhelming. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so I only have, um, over here, I only have three things and it says all yarn uh, clubs. And then minis. And I did, for you guys that love minis, I had pulled them off for a while. And I figured out a way to do, it, um, Etsy lets us have 10 pictures. So I, what I've done is I've taken pictures of nine of them. And then I show each one separately. So you know exactly what colorway they are. And they are on a drop-down menu too. 
So I thought that's so much easier. And uh, so I have that. And then I did some experimenting this week. And she's not going to tell you how she did it, but she experimented. I experimented. And I came up with three new colorways. And right now they are in my worsted and my fingering only, my super soft. And they are a gradient. And this is what it looks like to begin with. Can you see that? How the outside is kind of that. And then this is what it looks like in the scheme. Wait, I'm going to say, oh, you're going to, yeah, I'm going to unravel it. And it has all kinds of speckles in it. Can you see that? Yellow and green. Yellow and green. And this one had yellow, green, and orange, I think. Mm -hmm. And orange. Yeah. So that's that one. And I named this one Forest Meadow. I'll set aside. Yeah, I I (laughs) shut the door so the cats won't steal your stuff. And then this (laughs) one is called Spring Fever. It's the green on the outside. And this has the orange in the middle and the different colors, the blues. And here's what it looks like separated. And it's a gradient, too. And can oh, you see? Orange is really potent in that one. Yeah. And it's in, it's in the middle. Mm-hmm. So when you knit it up, you'll be starting with orange. Then it goes into speckled. Mm-hmm. And then you end up with the dark green. And so that's that one. And that's Spring Fever. Which and then my last, last one. It's really pretty. It's called Turbulent Reef, and it's the blues. And it actually started with a, uh, a purple in the middle, but it kind of didn't spread as like it should have. But it is still a really pretty one. Yeah. So, um, and those are my three. I may have four because I have another one in mind that if I get home in time tomorrow, I will put it on. But I'll be doing my shop update on um, she says someone's asking how many yards are those? 220 in the um worsted and 467 in the fingering. So. Sherry says busy, busy. I want some. Karen says so cool. I know. You got a great job, Donna. Thank you. <laughs> it was just I got this thing in my head. This is how we come up with We get ideas. a bee in our bonnet. Yeah, I was laying in bed at night. And you'll see about my bee in my bonnet later. So yeah. And so that <laughs> is all that's gonna be in my shop. Uh, I it's forgot so about strange. one of my one what died. So I dyed myself. I'm going to make socks out of this. It's true. After I finish. So you can't buy it. So this one you can't buy. But if you like it, I can recreate it. I know what I did. Okay. So um, this is it. It's got turquoise and orange in it and some white in it. And it caked up. It looks differently caked, different caked up. Um, the colors look like they had run together more when it mm-hmm. was in the, the, the hank. Mm-hmm. But I like how it caked up. And so that should be my next time I have a project for you. Hopefully it will be these socks. <laughs> Hopefully I finish my other ones and I can start doing these ones. So, and if you guys like how this knits up, I like I said I can recreate it and make it a color for my shop. I haven't even um, named it yet. Oh no, you haven't. Mm-mm, I haven't. It's- well, I thought about calling it Amber's Choice. Yeah, because that's kind of what it was. I just like, ooh, I I love the bright orange and I love bright turquoise. So but I she's thought the bright, I and it almost together. looks like a bright green in it. Yeah, like you put green in, it, but you didn't, did you? Mm-mm. That's no, the, but turquoise the turquoise and the orange where it went together. Uh, Laurel, her update's not up yet. What, a Monday? Monday. Monday at morning or evening? At 7. PM? My time. Yeah, PM? 7 p.m. Okay. So it'll be 6 in, in Pacific and then 8 and 9. Mm-hmm. So, but they will be going yes. on. Daily time. Yeah, daylight, daylight time. time. Mountain. Mm-hmm. And I will, you know me and my Instagram. I will go on Instagram and remind everybody. But, yeah. But yeah. you can always... Text me and let me know if you want one of them. <laughs> you don't have to wait for yeah. the shop update. Oh, and don't tell people that. That's not fair. Oh, that's not fair. She that's said I fair. have to wait till the shop update. But I also am going to list. Well, I, this is one of the questions. Do you guys think it would look neat in um and glimmer? The glimmer glitter? Those? Because if so, glimmer. I'll list them in that too. I'll have to dye those if you order those. But um, I know Linda loves the glitter glimmer. So um, if any of the rest of you. But anyway, now we're going to ask a question for you guys. And we want answers here, but we also want you to comment down below. Mm -hmm. We do not carry DK in our shop Mm -hmm. because we don't use DK. I mean, we have never knitted with it. This is the problem. Well, I did. Actually, you crocheted with it. I crocheted with it. What did I crochet? Oh, the Mandela is is DK. It's DK, yeah. But anyway, we can get DK. And we wanted to know if, if that interested anybody. If any of you use DK, 
And then we can get it either in the 100% superwash merino or the 75% superwash merino with the 25% nylon. And so let us know if you use those, if you like them. Amanda those. says, yes to glimmer glitter. Can you do longer length on the gradients? We can't do longer in the Hank. We're, we're stuck with what we get it from the company before we dye it. So I mean, I the could, worsted are the 220 and the fingering and whatever are 440 or 460. Yeah. So it comes that way to us before we dye it. Yeah, and we'd have to tie two together and then you wouldn't get the same uh, look. Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. So, um, in fact, so you I could don't... always get two of them and you could do them gradient to the dark and then backwards. Yeah, and then go have the dark and do the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, that's an idea. I'm so a smart one. She is. Because I was even thinking, I, I did gradient when we first started our shops. I did only two of them, but they sold right away and they were in fingering. And then I started thinking, you know, you can't even split a gradient because you're going to have two socks that are That's different. That's you have to do. You dye two together. You see a lot of people who, I see people post on Instagram where they have them caked up with two in the scent, like two of them. Right. And one big cake that they've dyed them at the same time. Right. Well, you'd have to use, break it to 50. I used 50. to, but your worsted is pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Yeah. She yeah, used to use DK. But yeah, the, the worsted, worsted is nice. The worsted and is soft. nice. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I may order a few just to see if I like them. Sherry, DK. Mm -hmm. She meant, she wrote DO and then DK. Yeah. I used, I used DK, but your worsted is pretty awesome. That's what she's trying to uh, say. Okay. I don't really use DK. Bulky worsted and fingering tend to be what I use. So if I start, start, um, uh, that's my question is bulky. bulky. I want to start um, stocking bulky in my, in my shop. Spell check. That's funny, Sherry. I do that same thing all the time. Um, I want to start, I'm going to start stocking bulky. I'm actually planning on ordering some today too. So, um, it sounds like someone would buy buy bulky. So the only thing wrong with spell check, Sherry, is that sometimes it I know on the phone it spell checks and it changes it. And if you don't catch it, you you're just sending messages that you don't really mean. Uh, things that may be inappropriate and you yeah. don't want them to be inappropriate. Yeah, so and then Amber reminded me yesterday that when I send text messages, I forget <sighs> to say when I talk when it to my phone, I forgot to, to tell them that you have to play it. Punctuation. Punctuation marks. So mm -hmm. mine all run together. Yes. But I said she. she you like bulky well. for cowls? Oh, good. Great yes. teacher gifts. Yes. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Because yeah. I this bulky is amazing. And it's 50 50. Um, it is actually 50% superwash merino, 50% nylon. So it has a nice little stretch in it. And I think they decided that's why it's really soft. Mm -hmm. And the bulky, you get um, 110 yards. You so can make one hat. It's enough for one hat and maybe the pom pom on and top. And probably a cow. A cow, yeah, I'm sure because you don't have to make those as tall. Right. So, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad to know that, and I'm glad the DK too. People yeah, like DK as well. Well, yeah, but only, you know, we'll see. Well, how yeah, many but we'll really get like more it. comments later. Yeah, too. Because no, I know that if right Jill right is watching, I know Jill has asked me specifically about DK a couple times, actually. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so maybe I'll try a few, get yeah. a few in. But anyway, that was our question for the day. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, so what do we have next? Next we have fiber share. Oh. Do you want to do your fiber share first or do you want me to go first? You go first because okay. I have so much. Oh, I, oh, that goes in something there else. You. We both have fantastic fiber share partners. Did. And I don't even know if I have the name first of my partner. Off, do you? I know the name of my partner. Mine's Nicole. I, oh, I thought you knocked over a soda. Nope, I knocked over <gasps> my phone. <laughs> first off, she sent me this bag. Can you get DK Sparkle? No. No, not at all. In fact, I've only seen a few that have the sparkle in, in worsted. It's kind of hard. But mm -hmm. uh, but we're looking. But neither of our places that we buy from carry anything it. but fingering in sparkle. Yes. So, and Amanda says, oh, perfect. I like the uh, the one I usually make is about 80 yards for the bulky. So oh, good. 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 So okay. the idea is okay. So my partner, her name is Stacy. She actually has a shop on Etsy. And I've talked about it on my Instagram. She's knit, knit. Isn't that on her card? No, it's not on here. She didn't put a card on it. Oh, this okay. just says made with love. She crocheted me this. It's a cacti. It's so cute. Fit food fun. Fit fab fun. Fit fab fun. Fit fab fun. I think. I'll have to double check. So that she made that for me. I'm going to put that on my desk at school. And then this says make today. Lovely. Sorry. I thought it said awesome. And then I was like, that is not an A. Make today lovely, which is going to go up on my wall. Um, chocolate, California Collective Salted Caramel. Ooh, we could try that. Salted Caramel Dreamin' 
chocolate bar, and popcorn. Love popcorn. As long as it's not the uh, buttered popcorn, you can eat it while you're knitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. A cute little knitting gauge that's shaped like a hat with a pom-pom on top. Isn't that cute? A needle gauge. Oh, her little card to me. With I keep to show you. Expecting your elbow to hit me. I'm not going to hit you. I know. Okay. Um, some chowgu needles. She said these will be perfect for doing two at a time socks on circulars. Okay. So that may be my next attempt. Yeah, she hasn't done two at a time mm -hmm. on circulars. Uh-uh. So, well, and I tried once, but didn't work out. Um, she got me. She made this for me. It's a keychain that says Maker's Gonna Make. Cute. And then she got bought these for me from a comp, from a um, someone on Etsy as well. Um, Knitting Kitten is what it says on the outside. It's the kitty ones. Okay. Kitty. And then Inside. she watched me um, knitting with my janky stitch markers for my <laughs> bulky needles and got me some little kitty ones that will fit around my bulky needles. Um, I will try to find the names of these shops and post them down in the comments later for you guys if you're interested in getting anything from like this or some of these because these are awesome. Like I'm I'm using one actually on the hat I'm making and they're perfect for the bulky needles. It's upside down, but they're perfect. They're so cute. Mm -hmm, they are. We love you'll you'll love the cable because it doesn't get all twisted. Oh, the Xiaogu. Laurel, me too. I won't use anything else anymore. Oh, that's good to know. Well, that's what Christy and Tristan say. Now that yeah. they're doing circulars, I, I don't think they use. No. And they said the Chow Goo brand, I think, too. Is that's that good. She got me some note cards with little kitties on them that are so cute. Kitty. We locked her kitties out this time, by the way. They're out there with Dave sleeping, too. I think we're doing good. She got me a journal to write down my ideas for my projects and my colors. And then she got me three different yarns. She got me a sock yarn. Uh, Sockies, Lion Brand Sockies. It's that really pretty purple and pink and white. Um, and the colorway on this is called Cotton Candy. Isn't that pretty? This will be really pretty. pretty one. Um, she got me, this is called Shawl in a Ball by Lion Brand. It's a so, fluffy, it's almost like an Angora looking stuff. But it's it's like a, it's almost like an eyelash width. Oh, I see. So, but it's got, how many yards does it have? Because it's got enough to make one shawl. One ball makes a shawl. Um, it is 518 yards in one. Oh, okay. So, so a more. I'm going to experiment make, learning how to make a shawl with that. And she got me a burnout pop, which is really pretty. That's a color I didn't have, too. So I can make another uh, scarf out of this. I know how to make it a little bit narrower this time than I made my last one. So, yeah. So she did really good. She Stacey really was nice. awesome. She got me some nice stuff. So now I can actually use this now that I've showed it to you guys. <laughs> right. So that's mine. Well, Very I did nice. use one of mine, but you'll see that. Oh, um, she gave, sent me a bag of cat treats, too. Oh, I yeah, for I have used that. Because, and they went crazy over Yeah. <laughs> it's Mama's turn. Okay. My fiber share partner's name was Nicole, and she did wonderful. First of all, she sent me this huge Harry Potter bag, and it's it's big enough that will fit my shawls. You know, the, the 12 by 12 is nice. I can get it squished in. But now with this, I can keep extra balls in it and everything. But anyway, and that's the uh, Deathly Hollow side. All you Harry Potter people out there. <laughs> and she made it for me. And it, look at it. It has a big, wide bar bottom. And it's a drawstring top. And it's a drawstring top. So I don't have any drawstrings. And unzip it. And I wanted one of them. <laughs> then she got me some hot chocolate. You know, we'll go through the food stuff first. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> gotta get down to everything. Everything is at the bottom here. She, oh, you got a, a couple of great bags, sweet bag, great box. What? Comments from people, oh. great bag. Great okay. Box. She got me a deck of Harry Potter playing cards. Is that upside down? There we go. Yes. Harry Potter playing cards. And that's kind of one of my, uh, the thing. Oh, there's Dobby on the bottom. I didn't see oh, him. Oh, you didn't see him on the bottom? Dobby. 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 And then she got me these two soak. They're soaks for soaking my socks in when I go to wash them. Oh, that's cool. In the sink, yeah. Two little ones of those. Then she got me. So you're showing the non-yarn stuff first. I think so. Okay. A knit pick size G wooden uh, crochet hook, and I love these. And I had an H, I, and J. 
So this is perfect because I really am on my new shawls or on all my shawls, I've been using the G hook. So, cause it's just right for me. Then. <laughs> Once I love Harry Potter and then you got a me too, Sherry from Laurel. And then <laughs> I had mentioned when you fill out your fiber share, you can mention if there's any, any yarn out there that you don't have that you'd love to have one of them. I got the air in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, I said, I've never got a hedgehog. And she sent me this beautiful hedgehog. It's called Lagoon. Upside it's really down. Pretty. And it's blues and purples and greens. And greens. I don't see so purple, but I see blue and green. But I'm going to mix pretty. this with one of my colors to make a shawl with. Mm -hmm. So she went really, I'm telling y'all in advance, she went overboard on she my did. yarn. She just went crazy. Someone just said they love our shirts. Thanks, Cassandra. Thank you. Then she sent me this. And it's so funny. She said she had, she, it's from, um, Plymouth Yarns, and can you find a name on that? I haven't looked, but she said she got a new Swiffer in, so she wanted to put it on a ball, a ball for me with her new Swiffer. Happy sure. Feet 100 Splash, hand dyed. So it must be just called Maybe that's just Splash. Called splash yeah. But it's kind of, it's pinks. Color and 103. Grass. Color 103. Right. And oh, it even has it's a got purple. Mm -hmm. and it has a purple in it. I didn't see that. So this is really pretty. She got me that. Yeah, Amanda, it was a hedgehog fibers. Yeah. She hedgehog. said, um, hedgehog fibers, sorry, it's crazy here trying to listen. Yes, she got her a hedgehog. Then <laughs> she got me two knit picks, dishy cloths. She knows I crochet with dishy. And this is the colorway on this is, I think, purple multi. Yes. Uh, Great purple, purple multi. multi. Won't those make beautiful cloths? And then she got me two you can of show the, the other ones attached. Yeah, the, two of that color. Uh, and it's called Sunrise Surprise? Sunset Multi. Oh, Sunset Multi. And I've already started last night. I was crocheting. I've already crocheted. Well, she two. tried to make a dishcloth with knitting with that last night. So I And then she switched to crocheting. <laughs> and then she and then got already me made one? two little. I made two of them. Oh, wow. Yep. You made, she already made two with two that one. Two of them last night. Huh. And then she got me these cute little minis in the pink. They're gumballs. They're called gumballs, and they're um, from Sassy Girl. It says, find treasures from a sassy girl. And so I don't know if the name of the thing is Sassy Girls or if it's named uh, gumballs. But anyway. No, it's Hope Pink. Oh, the, the colorway color is Hope pink. pink. Okay. So they're like 10 grams each, so they'll be cute to put on things. And then she made me a small Harry Potter drawstring bag, um, a yarn cozy. So she really went all overboard for me. I love her. I love her. So anyway, if you didn't, if you weren't in it or fiber share this month, it's, this time, this time it started in January. Mm -hmm. uh, you really missed out. The so, one you're wrapped around. Uh, that. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It so, was good. It was good. And if you, if we you, do worry though, that because everyone's doing so well and everyone's posting, it's just going to get crazier and crazier and crazier. And everyone's going to just start sending oh, more and more and, and more. And her daughter made me. I forgot to find those last time. I found them. These two little stitch markers. And they're clay. And one is with a kitty cat on the moon. Because she knows I have Hold cats. On, let's put my hand behind it. Can you behind see it? it? There you go. And then a deathly hollow. Oh. One. Is it showing up go. good? Kind of, yeah. Okay, I definitely hold And her daughter made those. And um, I tried to look her daughter up on Etsy. And um, does she have an Etsy store? Yeah, I would think so, but she's not on Instagram. So I don't know if huh. she does or not. But if she doesn't, she should. Yeah, yeah, because those are cool. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Etsy is so much fun. And mm -hmm. yeah, right. so that's my fiber share. I didn't take as long as I thought it would. No, we thought we were going to be really, really. Uh, okay. Next we have purchases. Okay. So I will start. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Um, I have two yarns. These are wish yarns. I'm going to try to make socks out of them um, because I got two of the exact same color. It is their milk cotton, which is actually 100% acrylic. We've probably talked to you about that before. Um, but I got these two. They're color, well, they're color 12. They don't have a name. So I'm going to try to make a pair of socks and see how they knit up as socks because they are um fingering slash sport thickness so yeah just those yeah just those okay then i bought these for us 
you know, you guys know me and my wish scissors. Well, I saw these, and I didn't realize they were so tall. But they're the Eiffel yeah. Tower. And they're, oh, they're and heavy. my yeah. table. They're nice. They're nice and heavy. Those are nice. And so I got Amber set and me a set. You can put your set oh. back in. Okay. <laughs> I can have the open one. You can have the open one because you can put it. Do you have more purchases? I do have a couple. Okay. I want to show about my, my bracelet. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So I got something that's not knit and yarn related, but it's a fake Fitbit. I don't know if you can see it oh, on my yeah. wrist right here. I'm getting one so, today. It's got the time, my steps, calories, and mileage. Um, and it actually will go to an app on my phone and it will tell my sleeping habits too. Tell me um, tell about the bus trip. The bus. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm driving my bus, it counts my driving as steps because my hands shake while I'm because we go over a lot of bumpy roads. So I get an extra like three thousand steps a day on days when I'm driving the bus. <laughs> so I had to up my uh my goal. Oh. Um, but it's really nice. It was only, it was $13. And then I did, they do something with wish where you can do buy with me. So I set it up for a buy with me and someone bought one after I bought mine. So I got a buck 50 back for both of them. Cause I bought one for me and my husband. Um, so yeah, so it's not a Fitbit. It's actually Excel van brand, but it works really well if you need a Fitbit or something. Right. If you want to start counting your steps. It does something at night. It tells you how Yeah, it well. tells my sleeping habits. It tells oh, if I have deep sleep, light sleep, if I'm awoke awoken during the night, which is kind of cool because I I often wondered why I was so tired in the morning. And it turns out I was only getting like six to six and a half hours of sleep because I'd be awake in the night and not even realize it. So right. it's kind of cool. Okay, now this this is a wish purchase, but in a way, I'm glad I purchased it because it let me know a few things about Wish. <laughs> if you order, this is a shirt I ordered. And if you order clothing on Wish, I want you to know their sizes run very small. Mm -hmm. This is a Harry Potter shirt that I purchased. And I purchased an extra large. Okay. But it's an Asian it is, extra large. Yeah, it is skin tight on me. So, Tristan, if you're watching this, and I know you're a big Harry Potter fan, this is for you now. You get this. It should fit you. So, it should fit you great. Mm -hmm. So, that's my one of my wish purchases. And it was cute, and it's well made, and it, it should wash up tiny. nice. But they're small. Mm -hmm. Your sizes are so small. I have a few other purchases because I have okay, no one. Those. Yeah, I do too. Okay, and I did do I did a couple of knit mix orders this week because I wanted to see how their pom poms are. Uh, I ordered one thing. I okay, my biggest critique is how short the strings are to sew it onto your hat. That's my biggest critique about the knit picks. And pom -pom. It should, they should have put a little bit thicker thread too because that. To me, that they said it was a fingering weight thread, yeah. so it would be almost invisible, which I don't mind as much. Yeah, but, but I wish it was longer because like, it, they're heavy and they're very heavy. Very they're, heavy. And they're they're solid. So I bought I got a bright pink and a navy blue, which is hard to see the color. Well, you can see it a little ah, bit better yeah. in the camera. Yeah, it's wait. a navy blue. So these are their bigger size. They have two sizes. They have one that's three dollars and fifty cents, and one that's like three ninety five. This was the bigger size of three ninety five, and it is. Not a bad size. I mean, it fits in my hand. So I'll try these on. Ooh, <gasps> but pink on top of the new colorway. Oh, yeah. That on would my be I am enough. That'll be really pretty. So and I also got um some needles in this, too. Um, they're they have some DPNs that are on sale. Um, they are the multicolored ones. And they're wood. And they're wood. I don't know if you can see the that's the spectra plywood. I only know that because my husband's turned with it. But they're really pretty. And I got a size seven. And I got a size zero and a size one to try out. And these are, they're in their clearance section. I think they're selling out of them. I don't think they're going to sell them anymore. Oh, okay. So um, these were like $4.45 each or something. So they'd be worth it if you need any, any double pointed needles. So yeah, that's my nitpicks order this week. Okay. And then I, I got some more of my funnest socks. These are my favorite ones that I've got from Wish. Although they're not really sold that well. I haven't even, I haven't oh. even taken these out of the thing. They're kind of weird. Yeah. But I like them because they're stretchy and they're up here. It's a nice, soft stretch. Mm -hmm. It's not heavy. Are we watching these? I am, yeah. Okay. Someone said, ah, oh, and I never shopped on Wish is what Karen says. Right. Well, you'll get addicted. It'll so. suck you in. Yes. Because like these socks, they were a dollar and then a dollar shipping. So $2 for a pair of socks. And they are wool. Um, mm -hmm. They are supposedly, let's see, but we've been. You can't read that, but they're supposed to be wool. So, mm -hmm. 
Because it does say machine wash. Oh, blow dry. Yeah. So they probably were super washable. But I love the feel of them anyway. Who sees the cup anyway? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so okay. that's that. I have another wish purchase. Oh, yes. Okay, maybe. so if you follow Instagram as well, you'll see that I've become obsessed with making lucky stars. That's what these are. Little lucky stars. And they're called lucky stars because you can give them to people for good luck. Um, they suggest you can put, put little notes inside and give them to people. Um, someone suggested that on Instagram. Um, but they also talked about that when I watched some YouTube channels. But I've gotten a whole bunch of different colors and types. There's some in here that are glow in the dark. Some are sparkle and glimmer. I had a goal to fill this up. It keeps her hands busy. It does. It does. Because my um my arthritis has been acting up um, from this crochet. finger. From, yeah. from when I fell down the stairs in high school and got a key through my hand, this finger since then has had issues. Um, and, and also from knitting, holding my yarn like this, my hands have been really sore. So I needed something to do that wasn't holding yarn like that. So I started making the lucky stars and I've become a little obsessed. They're fun, but yeah, so I filled this, this is about 600 stars in here, actually. You should have a contest at your whole at your my school. Oh, we could have a contest here. We could have a co contest. That could See be how many contest. are they made with clay? No, they're paper. It's paper. It's folding. origami. Um, origami. Hold on. I'll show you or... origami. I'll show you what yeah. I use. Yeah, because um, it's paper. And folding. she just learned on YouTube. They have mm -hmm. some really good because these these strips started coming up suggested on my wish to purchase. They came up as suggestions, so you get little tablets of the papers. So this is just a paper. Yeah, I went a little crazy, Shanta. She said, wow, that's a lot of stars. So you just take this paper. She's got more. And it's just the way that you fold it. You can make a little lucky star out of it. And they take Each one takes a couple minutes. They're really not that long. Maybe less than one minute, depending on how fast you fold, how fast you fold that day. And so this one, I'm actually trying to layer in different colors. Even my though my mom, mom shook it up yesterday. I didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> Oh, so I've actually been using them in my class too, with my writing class. Um, we've been, we'll write sentences on them and put them in the jar because they're earning, they're earning prizes based on how many stars they end up having in the jar. Um, so yeah, we'll just write the different sentences on them and put them in there, but see, I've got it folded. Now all I have to do is puff my sides and it's done. Seriously. They, yeah. Less than a minute for each one. Yeah. Yeah. Really fast. Really fast. And it's done and it's poofy. Yep. And, and they're just, they're just, they keep my hands busy. Okay. Yeah. So, so <laughs> well, lots of this paper I ordered. Do you have just the yarn left that you purchased? Um, yes. Okay. Well, let me show my last two wish and yes. then we'll go into our yarn, our purchases on it. <laughs> I had to get this. You're people that love squishies. A squish, is it a nice squishy? Oh, oh it's, it's a slow it's, rise. Those are the best. Yes, and it's really, and I've never had one. Well, I think I did have one when I worked in Montana. I think we got each one of us in the office was given <laughs> one. <laughs> but this is just a, yeah. And they say if That's you have either. arthritis too, the mm -hmm. squishing, you and should, I, they used to say, get out, what are those balls, mm -hmm. that khaki balls that you kick mm -hmm. around and squish it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, yes, Amanda, the paper comes pre-cut in strips like that. They're three eighths of an inch. Sorry. Or like 20, 10 millimeters or something. So that's my squishy. And that's then squishy. I got Bottom. mainly for when I travel, which mm -hmm. we're going to try to travel more often. We're going to mm -hmm. try next year or this year, this year yeah. to start doing some of the festivals, not doing them, but going to them. So do you have these on Wish? And they're the bamboo. Crochet hooks, and they came in. You get all the sizes, all the way from down to the little to the great big ones. And were those like two dollars with two dollars shipping? Yeah, yeah. And feel how light they are. Hmm. They're real. Well, they're bamboo. Mm -hmm. So I haven't tried them yet. I'll be honest, but I do have some oh, wooden I like, ones. I like the flat. Oh yeah, and they too, have the because flat the thing. way when I crochet, that's where I put my thumb and I slide it back and forth. And that's like only that. on the big one. Is it? No, there's a little oh, one right there. One. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. kind of cool. Those are fun. So those are yeah. So those are that. Okay. So that's and then I have just two. Oh, I don't think I've ever showed these. Should I show these? Yeah, you got those on. I got these on Wish too. Speaking of the crochet needles, um, this whole set came in this case four dollars with two dollars shipping. 
Um, and it, they don't say like A, B, C, D, like we do in the U.S. on them. Um, but they do go, they go 1.5 millimeters all the way up to 6.5 millimeters in size. And so. I crocheted with her G hook, which is a, I mean, her H hook, which mm -hmm. is a 5.0 last mm -hmm. night. And it, it, it's the same. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, have so. to know the conversion. Um, yeah. And I think our, a lot of our, like that, um, the hooks we get here, they'll say H 5.0 mm -hmm. or, you know, so that we don't have both things. So, okay. okay. And then I went on Etsy and I got these, I got Amber one and me one. Actually I got me two. <laughs> But I thought they were cute, and they came from the Sexy Knitter. And she didn't have a card, but her name is Sally? Let's see, maybe. Yeah, I think it's Sally. Anyway, the orange one's for you. Oh, they're, oh, they're sheepies. And they're sheep. They're, and she said she got the license to be the only one that sells these little sheep. And then they have the button that... Flips them back. Aren't they cute? And I, even though I don't knit, and I, I understand it's you when you knit, you it's nice you to have a, a tape measure. Yeah. But I'm trying to have a tape measure in and a pair of little scissors in every one of my bags. So this is the sexy knitter on Etsy. And like I said, she doesn't have a you don't have her website on. She doesn't there. have a card, a gift card, but it's the sexy knitter dot Etsy dot. And they were a reasonable price. Five bucks each. Five dollars okay. each. That's not so bad. that's not bad mm -hmm. for for something as a specialty something. item. Yeah, and it's a specialty, and it's so cute. So that's that. Okay. Um, I ordered some bulky yarn. No, I want them. No, I was wondering if they were. I didn't. Wasn't going to ask the price. I just wanted to know if they were reasonably priced. Oh, okay. you didn't have to say the whole price. Okay, but I did. Okay. I know. This is from Retold Yarns. Um, she does hand dyed yarns and fiber. Her name's Megan. It is a singles bulky weight, and the colorway is called Kevin's a Girl. I don't know what the name is in reference to. I was going to ask her, but oh, Kevin's a Girl? Question mark. So I don't know what that's in reference to. If you guys knew, let, no, let me know. Yeah, um, but I've never heard that either. But I saw it. And I thought it was really pretty, and it would make a nice hat, a nice bulky weight hat. And Amber has so many hats. I know one of the ladies I work with is like the movie Up. Kevin's a girl. The movie yeah. Up. Up. Uh, the coaches. Kevin is a little boy, right? And it's question mark after. Yeah, Kevin's so. a girl. Okay. Okay. Well, I know who the character is, and I know the movie Up. Right. Um. So it is. <laughs> you can see that it's retold yarns on Etsy. So that's that one. So I wanted some bulky. Kevin is the bird. Oh, Kevin's the bird. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've seen up. Me too. And I only saw it once. That makes sense now. Yeah. Go ahead and show your other because I oh, cause you, were given. Yeah. And then I ordered this one from Hales B Handmade. And these are all, her two are worsted. Mm -hmm. No, bulky. Bulky, 100%. Mm -hmm. Mario, I think, yeah. Um, this one says, oh, color catcher included. That answers that question. Color catcher included for your first wash. That's what that little piece of paper is in there. It's a color catcher when you wash it. So in oh. case it bleeds, it'll catch the extra oh, what color. Is it I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Weird. So um, this is, like I said, Halesby Handmade. She included a little stitch marker for me that has a it? shoe on it. Oh, it's, a, it's a sandal or a oh, flip-flop. It's a, um, it's a little a flip -flop. One. Then, yeah. Yes. Very cute. Oh, it's got the earring type hook on it. And this colorway is called Lights and Bobbles. And it's bulky weight, 100% superwash merino. So. And it's pink and it's purple. And blue. And blues. Yeah. And it's kind of a speckle. It okay. is really pretty. Mm -hmm. I really like it. So, yeah. So, I ordered a couple bulkies. Right. Jeanette. And me, for the first time ever in my entire life, <laughs> I ordered tan dyed cotton. Now, we don't do cotton because it takes a completely different set of dyes mm -hmm. to do. But I ordered these from Rosie Grady Emporium. And she is on Etsy. So it's rosiegradyemporium.com. And um, she's also on Shopify and eBay, she said. Yeah. Sweet Horse Design Company. Oh, dot com. Dot Sweet com. Horse Design Co. Dot com. That's her website. And she's also on Pinterest and Facebook. But I bought three cotton yarns that I am going to make a cotton shawl out of. And you know, sometimes it's hard to see the colorways, what they look like on um, 
Uh, there. See if they'll go together. But this is called Sundance. And this one is called Hydrangea. And I thought I'd put that in the middle. I, I split mine up into half and half. So I'll have actually six colorways. Can you mm -hmm. hold those? Oh, sorry. I, I didn't grabbed the were... other one. I didn't know and you were then doing this that. one is called uh, or, Organic Portal of Portal of Olgan Olganeo Speckled Camilla. Whatever. But it's, it's pretty. Got, it's pretty. See, I thought they would kind of go together. Because um, this is kind of a very, and this does have some pinks or purples in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then she was so nice, and she sent us. What was her website? It is. It is. What did you say it was? Um, Great Iron. No, oh, that's her email. <laughs> yeah, she is. Where's the Where did card? Oh, here it is. Her um thing is Sweet Horse Design Company Co. dot com. Sweet Horse Design Co. C, Co. Dot com. com. And I think on Etsy you put in Sweet Horse Design Co. Is what I put in. Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, what I put in was hand dyed yarn. carton yarn, and she came up. But she was nice enough to send us I put the bag for you. Oh yeah, to send us a yarn to use in our giveaway. And so this is our giveaway for next time uh, on our Easter weekend, and it kind of ties in because it's it's got. Um, pinks and blues and greens and oranges in and it is called garden path so this will be the the giveaway i hope you all like it it is a dk cotton uh oh how well, thank you um thank oh how lovely yeah. morals is yeah that's, that's so springy it is yeah, it is it isn't is that pretty that looks so nice and it's probably enough to I mean, it's a DK, but it's not a real heavy, thick DK. Mm -hmm. So you could probably make socks out of it, cotton socks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or pair it with something else. I mean, mm -hmm. if, or a really light uh, cow shawl or cowl. It would make a wonderful cowl because it's mm -hmm. cotton and it won't itch. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm so careful because stuff itches so much. That's why I decided to do the cotton. But isn't that pretty? And that was so nice. And we want to thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And then you enter. Oh, being yes. a subscriber on our YouTube channel and leaving a comment on this post after it goes off of life. So episode, episode 13. Episode 13, yes. On unlucky episode 13 on Lucky on Lucky St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. The 17th, which has always been my number. I love the 17th. Yes. Okay. Now All for right. the fun stuff. I have food. Food. Weird. Food. Okay. It was my turn to get the food this week. So. The first thing we got was this bourbon, Watalock, and we cannot read it at all, but they did stick a sticker on for nutritional value, and it so does not have bourbon in it. We think it's just bourbon flavored, but I've never tasted bourbon. Me neither. I don't drink, so, so we're not going to so we shall see. And they're these long, little, skinny things. Maybe we should take one in there to break it in half. But they're <laughs> white. They taste like, I don't know, they taste like those frosted animal crackers or animal cookies that have the, that are pink and yellow. And it's a cookie cake. They have a little bit of a, a tanginess to them mm -hmm. at the end, though. So we got that. Oh, no, I'm not going to work. Then we, we got a Tokyo Powerball. Powerball. Power bar. And it is black. Thunder chocolate. Can so. we get bonus entry points for tuning in live? <laughs> I wish you we would, but we lose everything on the live chat. It goes away. Yeah, so we don't even know who. We love it. Yeah. And I can't open that, so we'll let Amber. She's got better fingers than me. It smells it smell good. good. Yeah, it smells like chocolate. Yes, it doesn't smell like fish. <laughs> We've had too many experiences with fish. Mmm. Mmm. That's very dark chocolate. It's dark. That's what I was just saying. It's dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. And then Amber looked at these last time. We didn't buy any. But this is Tokyo's version of Pop, Pop Rocks. Rocks. We all remember Pop Rocks, don't we? Mmm. We make me hungry. I know we do. <laughs> um, this way we don't have to eat a big lunch after our, our filming. <laughs> All right. I am so terrible. 
Does it have a zipper? Or? It does now. Okay. Oh, oh. They're little individual bags of them, so we won't make a big mess. Oh, and they're, is that what's they're like, like Pop, Pop Rocks? Rocks? Yeah. They're little bags of like Pop Rocks. And this strawberry flavor, and of course, it's got a little notch in the middle. It's like right in the middle. Okay. Okay. I'm going to wait for you. <laughs> Where do you guys get these things from? I'd love to try these. We have well, an oriental store. It's called Oriental. Oh, you no longer lose your live chats. They're on the upper right side once your video is posted. Thank okay. you, Robin. Then we can use then we them. we can use them, yeah. So if you watch live, we can give you extra ones. Oh. oh. They're just like my props. You hear it? I can hear yours. <laughs> um, Mom in Orem has an Oriental market and an Asian market. That's where she gets these from, Shanta. Yeah. Um, and some of them I, I found, I'm still crackling in my in mouth. My throat. <laughs> I found uh, at Big Lots. So one of our Big Lots went out, though, right after Christmas. So, but mm -hmm. the other one, but they carry some of this weird stuff like. We're going to do next. Turn it. No oriental, st oriental stores nearby. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And um, I looked and because I think we have some Mexicali um, uh, markets too, but I haven't found the one that was by me is out of business. So I haven't found the other one. Yeah. Then Amber's going to oh. turn her noise up at this. So I, well, let me get a fork. <laughs> Should I get a plastic fork? <laughs> okay. These are from Spain. These are green olives with pimento, and they're called manzanilla olives. So we are going to try olives. I saw these, and I, now that Amber's out of the room, I know she doesn't like them, but I love green olives. So I will eat these when we get home. Do they smell good? Mm -hmm. And Amber's dad used to love green olives. Oh, I don't like and the smell of it. We had a, um, it was called in California when we drive from, uh, up to San Francisco, there was a place called the Olive Bowl. And they had every kind of green olive you could think of. Garlic olives, onion olives, whatever. And I know mm, they taste just mm, a little spicy. I don't I know, know if I can do one. <laughs> just don't like green olives. I think they're good. But I've always liked green olives. Oh, you <laughs> taste that vinegar. And then, you know, we watched before I like these rice. And the one store had them in the uh, cinnamon something. But the other store has them in the honey ginger. So I was good and didn't open this pack. Because <laughs> I do love these. These are nice to have sitting beside your bed. Do you need me to open them? Do you want to just pull them or do you want me to cut them? I'm just pull them. Yeah. And they stick together mm -hmm. because of the honey and... I did eat one, Robin. She did I eat did it. Eat she made a face, but she ate it. Are these good? Mm hmm Just like rice crispies. And they're a very good snack mm -hmm. because they are made with, we'll save this till it lasts. Okay. Oh, I can taste the ginger. Can oh, you? Not really. It's kind of a spicier. I'm not going to eat my whole thing. I'm sorry. I like that olive now. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought they were good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're, we decided to do something different. Uh, green cups. We are going to, when we were in the store together last time when she came down, we noticed all the different drinks. Oh, Candace didn't even realize it was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think this is a drink and it is called green apple and look at the cans they're clear mm -hmm. so we got some clear canned sodas clear canned sodas from the oriental store and does it say where they're made I, it's hard to read the because it's on a clear with green behind it um but we've never seen these in american stores so and uh entrepreneur poser dance un entre a france i don't know france? Oh. so they write something in france okay And we're only going to take a little bit because we have five different drinks to test. Oh, and they have a little bit of sparkle to them. Mm -hmm. mm, it smells so good. It is really an apple drink. Kind of reminds me of the apple. Um, 
And I like these. They have less sugar in them, actually, than a lot of the U.S. sodas. Um, because they only have, well, I guess the whole can has 80 can calories. They're a little bit less sweet. Okay, then we fa I found, we'll drink these later. We'll finish them off. It's oh, called, like, is it carbonated? Because you probably shouldn't shake oh, it. I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I don't know. Gotta, gotta chew. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. called Mogu Mogu. And this one is a strawberry. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little pieces of strawberry inside of it. And that might get me. I'm a texture person. Oh, my goodness. That is really a tight one. Wasn't it? Oh, it just exploded. But it's they're not carbonated. Good. No, they're not. I was... I was trying to be funny. I know, but it would have been funny. Oh, look at those chunks. Oh, the chunks just go right I don't know that. if I can do chunks, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tastes good, though. Strawberry chunks. That's why they're got to chew. You got to chew it. Ooh. I don't know if I'm really excited about strawberry. It's the chunks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, then we might as well go on to the other chunky one while we're at it. I also got us an orange one. We'll see if that's any better. Yeah, you got to chew your drink. Now, that's that's a new twist on life. Is it really that tight, too? I was a little pressurized, too. I was trying to be really careful. Oh. Look at the lid. I got to show you guys how cute the lid is on top. Oh, I didn't see this. like a little, little face. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pour as much in my key. Me neither. Time. I didn't even smell it. It smells like oranges. They're almost like a gelatin inside. They don't. Maybe they're that stuff. Yeah, inside of these. It tastes good, but it's weird. It's weird to have to chew. Oh, but it almost tastes like little, they cut up, they've made orange jello and cut it up and mm -hmm. put it inside. Um, then we'll do, so let's do that one and we'll do the ramen eight last. Yeah. This and then this is an orange one of the clear ones. <laughs> oh, the girl's say? laughing at my yucky face oh. ones. Yeah. And this is another orange, but this is a clear orange and this is a carbonated one. Mm -hmm. Made I, by the country that we can't know what it we is. We don't know what it is. And Laurel, I get those faces because I'm an actress. <laughs> I got really good at emoting. I don't like this. I do. Mm -hmm. It tastes like the flavored sparkling water you can get at like the clear, yeah. clear American at Walmart. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh. And then this okay. is Amber's favorite. Okay. She tried to ramenade. Okay. If you guys have never had ramenade, you're going to have an experience because they have a marble in them. They have oh. a marble in the top. Oh, you didn't tell me that. I'll show you how to open it. Use this little thing. You put it on the top. I got to do it on the table. And you press down with your palm. And it drops the marble in. Oh, it's going to explode. There we go. Whoa. So the marble is now down here. Is that the marble floating? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't go it all doesn't the way down. It doesn't drop all the way down. That is kind first? of neat. And then look at how it's easy mm -hmm. to hold. But you don't get many ounces. I no, you only, only get like, like 11 six. ounces, I think, or 9 ounces. Really? It looks really small. Don't Don't tilt it. <laughs> oh, do not swallow marble. Ha! No, and people, it's actually really hard to get these marbles out. You love the Clear American? I like Clear American, too. I love, this is my favorite. I drank a whole bottle of this the other night. Oh, I don't like that. You like that? It's great, but mm -hmm. it's... <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for voluntarily being our guinea pigs. You enjoy welcome. it. Oh, I don't like that, but I have to drink it all because I pop my job. I'm going to finish this. Always finish it. Mm. So Amber gets to have all of these. <laughs> you can keep the mogu mogus. You can keep the ones you have to chew. You got to choose. Okay, all and right. then I saved uh, the best for last. I got some gummy strawberry candy, and it's from an odd country, too. Mm -hmm. It is from Japan, Nagoya. Japan. And last time we tried the pineapple, pineapple on here. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed the pineapple because it tasted like a pineapple. And I think these are all individually wrapped they are. Mm -hmm. And I also got the grape after and I ate those on the way home. So they're individually wrapped. Like this. 
Oh, we do have the other thing to show too. You have to show your big yeah. thing. And then this is what the gummies look like. That's a different strawberry too, isn't it? It tastes like a real strawberry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Now. It tastes like red licorice. <laughs> like Twizzlers. It does a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Now, if you guys watched our last show, you saw my owl that I got. It had the jello inside, the little simple packs of jello. If you guys happen to get that, I'm giving you a warning before. When you open the thing, kind of tilt it and pour out. There's like excess water in it or something. But the jello is good. I've been snacking on them at night. Oh, have you? So, okay. uh -huh. I found this for my great-grandson. He would be my great-grandson. Yes, he would. Aiden. He's two. And it is a little engine, a little choo-choo train, and they actually, they the actually go, move. the wheels move. And then on the top, if it's like mine, it's a bank. I guess this isn't. Oh, well, you can still open oh, it. super train. Going. Yeah. So anyway, you'll love this. And so Alaska, if you're watching, Alaska's my granddaughter and Aiden's her son. Um, this is for Aiden. And I, I, it's got the little jello packets in and he'll love them. They're really, really good. So, by the way, they think your yucky face is hilarious. Too. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> well, it was yucky. Anyway, and I'm not an actress. That's just me. <laughs> anyway, it rolls good. You guys can't. Well, you see the top. So, but I'll have some of this. But anyway, I saw this. We saw this last time. And since I had the owl, I thought I'd wait. And then I thought, I'll just buy it for this time. And hey. these things like these would make great. Like Christmas gifts or birthday or Easter gifts. gifts or Easter. Oh, I didn't think about that. For it's your Easter grandchildren time. or your children if they're little because they've got good jello in them, which is good for you. Mm -hmm. And if you get a toy after, like mm -hmm. my bank, that's why I want to get it emptied because I'm going to actually start using it as a bank. So it was just a fun thing. So anyway, so Excuse that's me, the sorry. end of those. And Amber just did a nice burp. <clears throat> Excuse me, those carbonated sodas, they're, well, they're more carbonated Are than they? ours. Yes. Oh, is that it? Okay, so that is okay. Now we gotta do our winner. The winner of the yarn that I don't have to show you because it's sitting at home, but it will be mailed out is Rena Hanlon. Rena Hanlon. We used our YouTube random comment picker to pick your comment. Um, and she didn't get to watch us live last time, so she probably probably isn't getting her to watch us live again this time. But that's okay. So Rena, just go ahead and email us at Hurley's Hand Died at gmail.com. And we will get you your prize out, which is the yarn that mom doesn't have. <laughs> the yarn, the yarn that cannot be seen. But you've um, seen it on Instagram, I am sure. Yes. Yeah, so. And she entered just by being a subscriber and by leaving a comment. And that's right. all you have to do on this one. Right. And uh, we did have extra people. We did have extras that we put in because I had said if anybody reposted. We did. They did. We had a bunch of extras. So we had a lot to choose from this mm -hmm. time. We did. So, and like I said, Renna, um, it was a new name because we don't know. Your Instagram names are not the same. You're not like me. Mine's mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. Is yours? Yeah, my Amber Sharon shop is the yeah. same as my Instagram. Yeah, it's just uh, easier for us. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could make up other names. But anyway, so I don't really know who you are. I can't place you. Um, you may be just a new mind. viewer. Yeah. And that's okay. And that's okay. We love you. And, and it's been so nice. I think almost every single time we've had a new uh, somebody new has won. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. It makes it nice for everybody. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we uh, that's kind of the end, isn't it? Rena won three prizes in 24 hours. Not from me. Yay, Rena. Three prizes in 24 hours. Oh, ba oh you're Baba ba Yaya. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Three wow. prizes in 24 hours. That's awesome. That is so. You're, it's your lucky day. St. Patrick's Day is your lucky day. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. So. Yay. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations, Rena. Yes, congratulations. So just send us an email at hurleyshanddied at gmail.com. And I'm glad you get to watch it this time. Yeah. Watch it live. My tongue so. has turned colors from the... Oh, mine too. I think from the Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. That means our throat's probably yellow or uh, red too. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's so anyway, <laughs> we, we don't really have much else mm -hmm. going on. You know, we do live because... We didn't do live before, and we never cut anything out. So mm -hmm. we figured so, might as well because then yeah. it's instantly on. We don't have less to, editing for me because yeah, to be honest, I'm the tech long one. Time. Yeah, she's the tech one. <laughs> she's gonna help me buy a Fitbot or a Fit whatever. A what fake Fitbit fit fit today because that's how I'm. I'm all right a little bit, but there's so many of them on Instagram. On, on Wish, Wish. there are the right one. Yeah. So 
Well, and you know, know, the reason I got it was because I watch. You um, drank almost all of it already. She did like the grape. I do like the grape. Um, I watch a YouTuber named um, Jazzy Bumble. Jasmine, okay. she's the British one. So okay. She's adorable. Oh, the funny girl. She's oh. adorable. Oh, my gosh. But we sat and watched been... her videos one night, and we yeah. just. Yeah. I mean, she last... has been ordering, do, doing different videos every day. She did a whole week of different things she ordered from Wish. And one of the things she got was a smartwatch. It wasn't like this. She got one that looks like an Apple watch, and she loved it. So I was like, I'm going to look and see if there's anything I can find that I would like like that. And there it was. And these were so cool because um, the shipping was $5, or you could do the expedited shipping for $1 more for $6. So instead of waiting a month for them, you got them in a week. Yeah. So be able to start using them right away, which yeah. is good because we need to exercise, Dave and I do. We've <laughs> talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, once summer hits, it's easier to do things like walking and stuff. And you're yeah. out in the country yeah. where you could walk. Of course, I say that I live in a, a mobile home park. I have said that for years. It's so easy. You never I just do walk it. around. Yeah, I did it first, the first couple of years. But then... When I started doing dyeing yarn, it's just like it takes more time. Yeah, it takes more time. Mm-hmm. You gotta take time out of your thing. But I'm old and I'm alive. Mm-hmm. So what more can I ask? Let's see. So Laurel says thank you so much. She loves watching us. Okay. Thank you, Laurel. Thank you. All and you Christiana, guys. congrats, Rena. Everything from these ladies is awesome. I'm using my cozies from Amber right now. I don't even look at my other bags lately. Oh yay! Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We've we had a few other bags. That we bought before, you know, we all do. But mm-hmm. when we can use our own bags, might as well, you know, mm-hmm. right? And I like the size of even the 12 by 12s. And you're getting down on those on your shelf. I you? have four left. Four left of the 12 by 12. Um, This Monday is not going to be a bag update, but I haven't done one in two weeks. So next Monday will be a bag yeah, update. She does an update every week. Mm-hmm. I do an update now once a month. <laughs> Well, well, I didn't do updates before. I just, when I dye them and I put them on. Mm-hmm. But I guess so. updates are the new thing, you know, mm-hmm. makes people excited and waiting for what you got. So you saw my updates and they will be mm-hmm. on tomorrow night at seven o'clock. No, tomorrow, Sunday night? I'm Monday. sorry, Monday oh, night. Okay. It's only Saturday. Yes. Yeah, Monday night. And, and mine then, will be at Monday morning at 10. And like I said, I might have an, another one because if I get home in time, I might make my fourth one. So <laughs> you'll have four. Ways to choose from, but they were fun making, and they were a new thing that I thought about in bed one night, and mm-hmm. it worked. So. And thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sherry. Um, it was fun visiting with you too. And Karen, and how long were we this you. time? We were one hour and nineteen minutes. Oh, so not far. bad. We thought it would be way long because of the the oh. fiber fit. Oh, oh, Rena is the one who bought the mini mouse bag from me. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Now we know. I'm sure she is going to love it because she said my granddaughter will love the mini bag for her birthday. Oh, nice. Yes, I'm sure she will love now it. Now we know who you are. It's hard sometimes, like we said, different names and faces and we do get sometimes a lot of orders so I forget. Yeah, yeah. Who buys? Yes, but thank you. Yes, thank but, you. Enjoy your Saturday too, Karen and yeah. everyone else. Yes, we, well, it looks like it is starting to melt out there now. Yeah, a little so. bit. So maybe we'll go out or something. <laughs> maybe we'll go out to lunch or something. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the Rena stuff. is Rena Gale. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Thank yay. You. Oh, yay. That's right. Okay. Hi, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Hi again. And bye again. I'm, I'm so tired. I did lose my train of thought. Yeah. So, so Baba Yaya is not Rena. Oh. But Baba Yaya is the one who bought the mini bag for me. Rena is Rena Gale. Oh, okay. 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 So All right. right. You gotcha. about the bag. Okay. Okay. You yeah. Guys, see? Look at how blue my eyes look in this light. In this I know. Camera. I have blue eyes, but you can't see them. You can't see them because your glasses. glasses. Yeah. Yes. They look blue. That's the outside light. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay. That was Everybody, moving on. Moving on. All my family has blue eyes. I have a blue eyed. I had a blue eyed husband and four blue eyed children. Mm-hmm. It's just how it works out, you know? Yep. And heredity. And my, and, yeah. So anyway, anyway. <laughs> ramble, ramble, ramble. That's um, yes, that's and it. tune in next time for sure. We will be farming, uh, we will be filming on March 31st with Jeff's birthday. Yes, it is the day before Easter, mm-hmm. and I have sent for three more things for sure from Etsy, people mm-hmm. on Etsy. So we'll have those things to show, and um, it'll be exciting. See Laurel, her name is Jazzy Bumble, it's J A Z Z Y. B U M B L E E. What's that? She's asking who the YouTuber is. It's B U M B L E E or E E E. Let me double check. Laurel just wants to know who the YouTuber was. Oh. 
she oh the funny girl it's oh. oh it looks like jazzy bumbly it's j oh on on youtube she's this top one that says jazzy bum right there if you can see that it's hard to see in there She's adorable. She we watched before Halloween and she had bought some Halloween costume. And she oh my gosh, the, thumb the dinosaur. Too tight, but the dinosaur, that's one of the blow up dinosaur that you stand inside. And she was riding it. Oh, I mean, and it has like little oh, it legs. Like, that it was come like Yoshi. It was Yoshi with Mario sitting on top. Oh my and gosh. And you got the Mario costume. The and she's hilarious. It. She and never so, swears. No, nope, which nope. is awesome. I like. People don't have to worry about that yeah. with. And, she and then, just, yeah, and she bought prom dresses once. And, mm-hmm. and she tells us what, how much price they were and which mm-hmm. ones are worth it. I mean, but she, yeah, she's so cute. Funny. Yeah. She's just adorable. She's adorable. I she's love just adorable watching her. little thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. You will enjoy her, Laurel. I bet you will really yeah, enjoy her. you probably her watch her all the time. And I think, I'd say she's like 24, maybe 25. Like, yeah, so she's still a little a bit kid. younger. Yeah. But so, she lives but, with her boyfriend, Nick, who's also hilarious. And they live in England. So their accents are great. Yeah, and they're not so so bad that you can't understand. Nick, sometimes I have issues with because he has a little bit more of a Courtney. It's not Cockney. It's um, maybe uh, Yorkshire. I think it's a Yorkshire accent. Yeah, a little. Yeah, so it's a little bit different, harder to understand. But they're they're. I love them. They're so. She's so funny. She is. She does slime videos sometimes. She'll do cooking videos where she or she'll do like Pinterest, like where she'll look up stuff on Pinterest and try their DIYs and. Yeah, she's just really fun. I really enjoy she's her. Really, really funny. She and Graveyard Girl are the two that I watch all the time. Yeah, and they're both. You don't have to worry about anything inappropriate. Yeah, which yeah, is nice. So they're fun. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway. Okay. <laughs> now <laughs> we'll say goodbye. Yes. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day, mm-hmm. and we will talk to you guys next next time, time in two weeks. Bye, guys. So bye.